This video training program will address effective communication procedures that ground and flight operations personnel must be proficient with when communicating on the ground. Once the aircraft is in sight, the line tech will give the ready to guide signal. For this signal, stand with feet slightly apart and arms raised straight above the head. Like all forms of communication, the message you're trying to convey may be misinterpreted if you do not use the proper words, or in this case, the proper signals. It is important for the line technician to remember that his actions are being interpreted by someone at the controls of a very complex piece of equipment. To taxi the aircraft straight ahead, hold both arms out to the sides at a 90 degree angle and exercise both the forearms in a come ahead motion. To signal a right turn, hold the left arm and wand outstretched to the side while the right arm executes the come ahead signal. To signal a left turn, hold the right arm and wand outstretched to the side while the left arm executes the come ahead signal. All marshalling signals should be performed at a slow, precise cadence. To slow the aircraft, hold both elbows at your side with the forearms forward and at a 90 degree angle to the body. Using the standard cadence, repeatedly move both forearms in a downward motion. Affirmative, thumbs up, is a signal used in many situations. It is used to indicate the acknowledgement of instructions or that the area is clear to continue movement or everything is okay. Negative, thumbs down, is the signal used to indicate no or not ready. To indicate clearance between aircraft and a fixed object, hold both arms overhead approximating the relative distance between the aircraft and the object. To bring the aircraft to a stop, the signal begins with arms down at the side. Then, in a slow movement, raise both arms in a sweeping motion until the wands meet overhead and are crossed. This signal should be given when the aircraft is approximately 10 feet from its final parking spot. The line tech must not be abrupt with this signal as the pilot will react immediately to the stop signal. Hold this position until the chocks are inserted. To signal an immediate stop, cross both wrists or wands above your head. To signal wheel chocks installed, raise both arms overhead with wands pointed inward toward each other. Make an inward motion with both arms, indicating the chocks have been installed. To signal set brakes, extend both arms overhead and clench both fists. This tells the pilot to set his brakes. To signal release brakes, hold both fists overhead, then extend and spread the fingers. This tells the pilot to release the brakes. To stop the aircraft engines, move the right hand and wand across the throat. Standard ground signals and procedures. Departure signals. To properly communicate with the pilot of an aircraft ready to depart, it is essential that you maintain direct visual contact with the pilot. To signal start an engine, hold the left arm out to the side with forearm pointing toward the sky. Indicate which engine is clear to start by indicating the engine number with the fingers of the left hand. To signal fire in the engine, extend and wave the right arm in a fanning motion below the waist. If it is a multi-engined aircraft, hold the left arm up and out to the side, indicating which engine has developed the fire. To pass control off to another guide person, stand facing the aircraft with the upper torso turned toward the next guide person, while extending both arms and wands in the direction of the guide person. To signal end of ground guidance, the line tech faces the pilot, gives a crisp military salute with the right hand, indicating that all is clear to depart. Once this signal is received by the pilot, the line tech will stand easy and monitor the aircraft's progress off the ramp while performing a last visual inspection of the aircraft. Let's take a look at a typical departure on a multi-engine aircraft. Start engines. Start has terminated. Oil pressure single rudder and hides check. After start checklist. Chunks removed. Taxi ahead. Turn to taxiway. Pass control. 
and ground guidance.